Well, here I am on the second day of the flooding at the uh, hatchery. Uh, it happened because uh, the river came up very fast with a lot of rain, heavy rain, and logs jammed into the gate. pretty much a write-off. Uh, we just had 4,000 chum access through the gates when we had the storm the other night and uh, came down to extreme flooding. Uh, the flood situation pretty much demolished our fencing system you can see behind you here. Uh, with a build-up of a huge log jam, which uh, overflowed its banks and came down onto our parking lot uh, into our fish pond and popped out all of our tanks behind you here. Uh, the plumbing is all broken in there. Uh, we had fish, live fish group stuff in these containers up until that point. And all of them either have escaped or are still trapped inside those tubs there. Uh, the water probably rose, in my opinion, between six, six to eight feet from where the original standpipe or um, staff gauge is. We're looking at at least 60 to 90 cubic meters a second of water rushing uh, by. The water has actually gone around into the parking lot. Uh, down into our spawning channel and has taken our incubators downstream with it. Uh, several of our um, dividers and walk boards uh, have gone downstream as well, have been down salvaged in the last few days. And also the aquarium is completely flooded. We don't know if the windows have been busted out due to pressure. We'll have to find that out when the, once the water retracts. Uh, I, I guess the fencing system is going to have to be totally redone. I guess it's a pretty good remember that's quite new. We were fortunate enough last year not to have anything big come down uh, square onto the fence, but this year it happened and it's just, you can't beat Mother Nature. The water is so powerful. We have salmon swimming up in our parking lot right now, coming upstream. Devastating. This is uh, back of the uh, hatchery along the side there where the smokehouse is. You can see the water streaming down along the, uh, the bank there into the spawning channel. So uh, there's a lot of water coming down. There it is in the background. You can see it's uh, coming past the river, flooding out of the river. You can see the river flowing in the background there, and then all this water in the foreground towards where I'm standing. And uh, there's a gull waiting there for some eggs. And here's the the uh, spawning channel down to the Flavarian. This is completely flooded and full of water. You can see it in the back there. It's probably about 10 feet deep in behind that the shed. There's glass portals there. You can watch salmon underwater through the glass to bring uh, school kids there and that in the, in the uh, fall to uh, watch the salmon. And there you can see it's flowing out underneath the roof. It's, it's plugged with water there. Here is a freshly killed uh, salmon that a bear has killed along the river above the bridge there. Here are some uh, chums. Uh, they're in the uh, spawning channel and they're uh, Looks like they're, they're going to spawn there. They're flipping the gravel around a little bit. Here's some more here. The beautiful fish. What you hear in the background is the uh, pump pumping out the Fulvarian, which has been running for about two days to get all that water up. Here's the river below the gate that has been blasted out uh, by the logs, uh, flowing very well, very, very fast. As we see it in now, this is uh, the second day. It's come down a bit.
day one after the waters retracted after our enormous flood here. Uh, we're surveying the damage and uh, just picking up as we go along, uh, doing the best we can here. And uh, one of the cool things that I found this morning uh, after the water had re retracted was uh, I got into one of my trays here. Uh, the only egg cake that we managed to get before the water struck uh, was 4,000 Chinook eggs. And when I popped the tray open this morning and looked in there, lo and behold, uh, the, the eggs are still alive. So, out of all that mayhem, you see that something that survived all this uh, flooding uh, was really encouraging to, see, to show that uh, life does continue and uh, yeah. we, can, we can move on and go forward here and, yeah. and, and despite all this destruction here. So, yeah. it was really nice to see that, that they were all still alive. Yeah, that's fantastic, Cody. Made my day. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. There he is. That's a big, beautiful northern run coho here. Look at that, baby. Woo! Wow. Okay. Yeah, boy, George. Yeah, we just rescued fish. Former manager here, helping with cleanup after the big flood of 2014. Although there's a changing of the guard, that shows they still care about the facility here. So we salvaged and the fish. You got to. You can count on the on the old guys, eh? The yeah, old uh, seniors. Yeah. Bill Timney was here earlier too, helping. Another former crew member helping out. And it shows you they still care. Thank you for viewing my film. I appreciate it.